We went whale watching out of Porto Magic Cove, the cruise ship terminal with Grupo Naviero. Our ticket price was 850 pesos per person, which is approximately $65 Canadian or $50 US. The trip lasted approximately four and a half hours, and I tell you, it was well worth the money. We saw tons of whales breaching and circling the boat. And the boat is one of the best I've been on for whale watching. It's a three-hull trimaran. What I really like about this boat is that it's quite high off the water, which and also quite large, which gives you the chance to wander around to whatever side of the boat the whales are on. And since you're high, you can look sort of down on them, so you get a much better perspective and view of uh, what you're seeing. So we were able to chase the whales around the bay, or I should say follow them. you got to stay at a respectful distance, and hopefully they swim up to you. And this setup with this captain and crew and uh, the amount of space was just perfect for whale watching. So we left Porto Magico on the boat at approximately 12.30 and we returned at 5 o'clock. So a total of about four and a half hours on the water searching for whales and it sure didn't take long. Within about half an hour we spotted our first whale. It was a mother and a young calf and she was flapping her fins around, or her tail I should say. Seems like she was trying to teach the young one something. We saw quite a few whale breaches, but I was only able to catch one on film, and here it is. Just incredible to think that these large animals can pull themselves right out of the water. We were so fortunate to see it. As I said, the boat is quite large. I think we had probably 60 people on board here, and it never did feel crowded. And they also served us lunch. Uh, we all had hamburgers. There was a barbecue in the back, and they, the chefs or the crew cooked up the burgers fresh for us. For a good part of the trip, we were following around this large group of whales. I think there was nine there. I think there was probably eight males chasing around one female trying to impress her, but they basically would race all around the boat like we weren't even there. I guess they were a little preoccupied. Every once in a while they would breach, but that was hard to catch on film, but it was sure entertaining for us. We are very fortunate to take this trip with this company because they supply a marine biologist and she was uh, able to explain to us uh, what the whales were doing and what their habitats were like and how they travel here from basically the, the north, some from Alaska. One of the most interesting aspects that I never thought of before, she told us that the whales shed their skin every two hours, so 12 times a day. That was pretty fascinating. She also explained that over the years, they documented 800 different whales that had come to the bay. They do this by documenting the, the flukes or tails. I guess each one is unique. It's like a fingerprint. So they match up pictures to the whales that they see in the bay. Another interesting fact we learned is that when the whales come down here, they're either here to mate or to give birth. The gestation period for a female is exactly one year or 364 days. And while the whales are in the bay, they don't eat. I think the pictures do it, or the video does it itself. There's no point commenting on uh, what we're seeing here. It's just incredible. Actually, the pictures don't show you really how close we actually got or how fast these whales were going. They indicated, or the biologist said, indicated they are going up to 28, I think, kilometers an hour, which I think is incredibly fast. But once you're on the boat and you we're moving and the whales are passing us, you really do appreciate they are moving that fast. We were moving at quite a speed and so forth. It really wasn't that windy, but because we were motoring along quite a bit, you can hear some wind ma noise in my mic. The good news is it wasn't very cold, actually quite warm, so it was a nice cool breeze to keep us cool. So in addition to hamburgers, they also had alcohol on board. You had your choice of uh, things like margaritas or tequila sunrises or beer which was great. It was nice to sit back and relax and just watch the whales run by us. It was a beautiful, sunny, warm day, so what better thing to do while you're in Puerto Vallarta but go whale watching and enjoy the, the Bay and Banderas and watch the whales.
As you can see from these short video clips that we ran into a lot of different whales. Uh, in addition to that pod of eight or nine chasing those females around, we ran into several other pods cruising around as well. And as I said, they were breaching all over the place. It's just so difficult to catch them when they breach. It happens so fast. Now, in terms of the best time to go whale watching, I've always been told that the whales come into the bay starting around uh, December and then they leave in April and the best two months are January and February. We went here at the beginning of March and there were still lots of whales. So we're heading back to the Porto Magico and the crew put on a little bit of music for us, which made it very entertaining. So we had a great time on the water whale watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please like and subscribe.